Hello, and you are back in the Velvet Room with Joker the Fool. This is our 17th episode, and today we will be discussing how the pursuit of clout and money ruin the internet, and infighting will tear the independent scene apart. So we're going to get right into that second thing I mentioned, and this came into my mind with the falling out that happened between Ethan Van Skyver and Eric July. And if you don't know about this situation, basically um, on Twitter, there's uh, Ethan Van Skyver, owner of All Caps Comics, arter, artist and writer of Cyberfrog, uh, got banned on Twitter, put uh, a new account on uh, Twitter under the All Caps name, and it's not run by EVS, supposedly. And that account... Um, said that EVS felt threatened by Eric July and posted uh, a private text between them saying, where Eric said, basically, um, if EVS was going to be critical of him uh, on stream, he was going to show reciprocity, and they wanted to talk about that. And apparently, they did talk about that. It was all cordial, and this is something that happened about two months ago. But now, EVS comes out and says you know, he feels... Uh, threatened by by Eric that he can't take criticism, yada yada. So basically, they you know, went from being all good in the neighborhood, doing a cover for him, being good friends, being a part of this, to uh, being a bit of a drama queen and having a falling out with Eric, which is unfortunate. I'm a big fan of both the Ripperverse and all caps comics. I, I've invested a lot of money into both of those brands as it were and i'm not really uh, i'm really disillusioned with what ethan did in the sense of um just being pointless drama right if they had a conversation about this afterwards um after that tax exchange and this happened two months ago there's no reason for him to bring this out and drudge it out it seems really stupid to me and also uh, evs did have riley over at his warehouse and did a little trolling bit there that's not the worst thing in the world evs does like to troll he likes to poke he likes to prod um at the internet and have a lot of fun with things there's nothing wrong with that necessarily i do think he crossed a bit of a line and he was also doing some of the stuff that was like i said making a drama queen leaking these private not leaking posting these private tech this private conversation and, and saying he felt quote unquote threatened when they had hashed this out over two months ago uh, I should say. So I, I think the idea that in, <clears throat> sorry, independents in the scene are coming uh, out against each other is really, really stupid. And it's going to tear the independent scene apart if um, you have, uh, if there's no, I don't, know, I don't want to say we necessarily need unity and everyone to pledge allegiance to each other. We just need people to not be um, explicitly hostile or doing uh, shenanigans like this, but it's going to keep uh, going to keep happening because there's a wide variance of people who are in the independent scene, who are in Comicsgate, Creator Own Comics, The Iron Age, and all the other aspects of the parallel economy. And we're not all going to agree, right? That's the beauty of it, right? We we all agree. We all don't. We all disagree with each other on some extent, but we all agree on the need for a parallel economy, and that's what we're building out. It's just that if we don't have some sort of um, rules of engagement that we uh, that we follow and are respectful of each other, then it's all going to fall apart. And I do think what EVS did on Twitter yesterday, or, or whoever's running that all caps comics account, quote unquote, it not being even, I'm not going to play that game. Whatever EVS made the call to put that on the Twitter, so I'm going to say he did it. Uh, I, I think that's not following the rules of engagement that independents need to be following when engaging with each other, when being part of this parallel economy that we're building out um, for the culture and uh, all the other aspects of uh, economic activity as well. Although we're, we're diff a lot of people are focused on more of the cultural things, you know, the books, the uh, YouTube videos, the uh, entertainment sector all those sorts of things rather than the hard infrastructure and that, that's a lot of uh, that's a much harder thing to do but i think that will come in the future but the whole thing there is that we're never going to make any progress with the parallel economy if we're pulling stupid shit like this so i want to say shouldn't do it it's really stupid and i personally do not like it but that that's really all i have to say about that so we'll get into the second thing i want to 
to discuss, and that is how the internet and social media, YouTube, is what I want to talk about, I want to focus this on. It's been ruined by the pursuit of clout and money. You'll see this when X put its, uh, X Twitter put its monetization policy in place, all the accounts that popped up and did this really stupid engagement farming, right, to get people to click on their tweets so they could get as much ad revenue as possible. And that sort of mindset where people are posting and using the internet to make content just to make money is really um, flooded and seeped into all aspects of content creation when it used to be just about being entertaining, right? YouTube back in the day used to be this platform that was meant purely to just post funny videos or in interesting videos that you could share with your friends. Now it's basically a, uh, a job for a lot of people and they treat it as such, you know, putting, you know, the specific thumbnails and tagging everything and titling videos in a very specific way. And it's make the it's made the platform a lot more corporate and soulless than it honestly should be, right? You have, uh, we, you know, we've gone from accounts like, uh, you have something like Linus Tech Tips, who got embroiled in a lot of controversy, right? It went from one guy just making uh, videos about tech to this whole company he's built around it. And in the fact that he's been able to build a company around uh, a YouTube channel has made it a much more corporate, soulless experience for the viewer than it should be. You have um, EVS, no, not EVS, Ethan Klein from H3H3 Productions going from just being these shit posty kind of videos to a podcast where he's trying to be buddy buddy with leftists that hate him, right? And you'll see this throughout, basically, you look at so many YouTubers, like, iDubs goes from the Kickstarter crap, happy guy looking ass, trash can iDubs, to, you know, what he is now with, you know, defending his girlfriend, doing the um, lewd photos online, however you feel about that, whatever, it's just, you look at the way YouTube is now, the individual creators that have been on this platform for a long time have gotten bigger They've all sold out in some ways for uh, the money. You don't watch, don't, you, it's hard to watch a video these days that's purely meant to entertain you. A lot of these are meant to juice the algorithm to get that sponsorship in. You know, you're saying like, you know, buy Raid or ExpressVPN or, or whatever the thing is. And then you watch the rest of the video and a lot of things more about news and relevant topics and things that you can tag really well rather than just making a video that's funny and entertaining, which was the initial point of YouTube. It was just a site made um, by a bunch of guys that got sick of sharing videos through email threads, right? And they made YouTube, and that, that was the intention of it. And it's gotten completely warped from that into basically this vehicle to farm engagement, uh, ad revenue, and influence over people. And you'll, like I said, you'll see this without throughout the entire internet. You look at YouTube, you look at Twitter, you look at Instagram, you look at TikTok. A lot of people are on it just to make the money, just to have influence and clout over people. And it's a very sad thing to see. And it's something that I am explicitly against, which is why uh, I make this podcast purely because entertainment well I, I also make it just to get as much content out there as possible so i can sell my book to you people so i guess i am a bit uh a part of the problem in some ways but hey we all got to do what we got to do this current environment though is too much focused on the corporate and engagement farming aspect rather than just trying to be trying to be focused around inv individuals that just want to entertain inform and enlighten you right and that's that's what the internet was uh, always meant to do back i'd say back in the day where it was just meant to connect people connect people to each other to useful information and really gotten away from that in favor of connecting people to uh propaganda advertisements and just getting people in these really harsh negative feedback loops if you look at stuff like only fans you know how instagram is basically engineered to destroy your mental health especially for teenage girls and all these sorts of things it's just that i do not like it and you have to be aware that the internet this day is an environment that is meant to be a uh, corporate hellscape basically and there still is 
um, independent creators doing their thing. There's this YouTube channel, Sky Corp Home Video, where they make video. They don't have made have made um, too many videos recently, but the videos that I've seen there is just it's one comment is why I did this segment on this podcast. It's just no ads, no nothing. It's just pure entertainment, and that's um, stuff you can find. It's just harder to find these days because so many people are focused on getting that Raid Shadows Legend sponsorship in or plugging their, um, you know, business or doing whatever else they can to get as much engagement as possible or they're just talking about the news so they can tag things and get in on the trends, not, hey, you know, let me just be entertaining for, you know, five to ten minutes of your day, right? Yeah, and that, that's the that's the basic thing. So a little bit of a, a dis this jump disjointed rant very tired today i apologize so i'm going to sign off here and i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will see you on the next one we're going to the outro now thank you for being in the velvet room with joker the fool be sure to follow my Substack, stack velvet room to read machine to man and all my other projects